Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and here I am with another jewelry jar. Uh, this came from my local Salvation Army, and I chose it because it looks like in the bottom here, there, maybe that's not a good spot. There we go. Here in the bottom, looks like there's lots of uh, glass crystals um, from a jewelry supply shop. There's some... Uh, necklace uh, silk or silk type cords there's some vintage looking jewelry up here um, including I know this something in there I saw had a name embossed on it so well, just have to see um, it's I can't I didn't weigh it it's a good size you can see it was $24.99 and we got 20% uh, off so I'm just going to uh, cut open the top and take some out, take out some jewelry to show you. Um, the uh, some of the uh, jars that were there a month ago are still there. I tend to sort of pick out one a month. Um, if I find something interesting. And I'm always looking for jewelry supplies. So I'm going to take about two of these chains out of the top here. Put the jar off to the side. And let's see what we have. So, oh, okay. This is a bracelet. I guess you want to see it this way. So this is a bracelet. And it's a leopard. <laughs> Uh, I suppose by its spots, but it actually comes right around and let me just check figure out how this oh I see so just below the mouth here is a slot where this is supposed to fit in and Hmm, maybe it's broken. Oh, you know what it is. So if we look here, this usually would have a part that comes out and then bends back. So the reason this is in the jar is that it's broken. I don't know if it could be repaired. Uh, if I look closely at it, I don't see any markings. But it actually is quite nicely made, Very nicely articulated. Uh, I don't see any missing stones. So maybe somebody could use this as a shoulder brooch, like that. Or I could see about uh, welding on a, a replacement clasp. That's an interesting idea. I always like trying to fix things, you know me. So these are, as I thought, some of the jewelry supplies. These are, um, I guess you might call them fire polish rounds. There's one here by itself, a different color round. These are sort of uh, orangey red, and there's quite a few of them. A nice size, let's see, maybe... Uh, five to six millimeter. So there's some nice jewelry supplies. I saw this and I was intrigued by it. Oh, it's huge. Let's, what have we got here? We got lots of things here. Hmm. So this is a, a two part chain. I wonder if this is meant to be a belt, because here's the, the lobster claw clasp, if you want to call it that. It's not quite a lobster claw. So here's two chains. One's uh, just a gunmetal. One's gunmetal with roses and a suede-type ribbon through it. It's, let's see, 24... So it could be a belt at 36 inches, or it could be a very heavy, long uh, um, 
necklace. It's kind of heavy. I, I probably wouldn't wear it as a necklace, but it's uh, in excellent condition. A beautiful belt. I think I saw something else in here that looked like a belt. Yes, okay. So we start at one end here. It doesn't have, it just got a little, uh, sorry, has a little uh, thing that looks like a purse, I guess. Some gold tone chain. Here's a station. And there's uh, this kind of a section of chain, flat, sort of not quite herringbone, and others. Station, another section, a really long, and it ends like this at the back. So this could be a, a, like a lariat. Um, you just double it up. One. Oh, so a little shorter than the other one. Um, not as heavy, so these are quite lightweight, but a very interesting brace, uh, belt probably, or lariat necklace. Some things I haven't seen before. Now, what else? I think we have another, um, oh. Oh, I think it's a couple of things that are tangled. Okay, so here's a very heavy bracelet. Um, I don't think this clasp belongs on there. Just a second. I think this is meant to be just a toggle clasp bracelet. It goes like that. It's got some rhinestones in this section. It's got some wear down to the copper here. Um, so that's what it would look like. I guess this is the part that you'd want to wear up and have this, I guess, on the top of your wrist. Um, usually the toggle falls down on your wrist, so I'm not sure if that's the best way to to have designed this, but uh, an interesting bracelet again, very heavy. What else have we got here? We've got a big ring, a very lightweight, almost feels like um, plastic. Does it? I suppose it could be aluminum. They hardly make any noise. So again, a toggle clasp and a very lightweight chain uh, necklace. Again, not something I've seen. So it, just seeing this all seems to be um, similar style. There's that uh, clasp that um, doesn't belong to anything. This is uh, says. Nine West. Excuse me, let me just change that. Um, a nice heavy chain. Quite long, quite long, quite long. Okay, no wonder this jar. Let's see, one, two, three. Definitely a belt. This one's huge. Um, probably, you or you could, I mean, it's heavy. You could, those small waisted people could probably wrap it around twice. Uh, same for a necklace, but again, it weighs a lot, so uh, it's an excellent shape. It looks like it's never uh, been worn. And hmm, here's part of something. I have no idea. There's a little bit of wear around here just because of the way these uh, rings are connected. Uh, some nice enameling. I don't know uh, what I do with this besides repurposing it. And let's see here. A bit of chain with a ring broken off of something. Nice, uh, very light chain. Again, could maybe make a, a use in a sun catcher. This 
is oh a very sparkly sparkly sticking to the oh very sparkly necklace now this is interesting it's got two spring ring clasps it's um very i would say it's very new um probably was meant to attach to something at a collar um it's not old uh you know white metal it's very new but nice sparkly rhinestones and quite a variety of rhinestones these long uh oh I've forgotten their name. These long bars are quite unusual in terms of their length. Very pretty. Oh, there's a uh, one gray rhinestone missing there. Let's see if there's any other missing. I think others missing. No, just the one there. Well, that could probably be replaced. And it's right in almost in the center. That's always unfortunate when that kind of thing happens. So a very pretty um necklace very wearable once it's repaired very light but uh lots of bling i always like rhinestones even if i don't wear them very much so interesting i always like jewelry jars because you never know what's coming out of them okay here's got another handful here here's some this must be the odds and ends of earrings place Here's some more of this. It goes with that uh, one that we had in the first part. So we got two sections of this now. Um, put them together and see what we can make with them. Um, some more glass um, fire polish round beads. Like the red ones, but these are nice... Uh, Champagne color with great shine to them. So jewelry um, items to uh, for making jewelry. Um, oh, here's some memory wire that someone has uh, strung with a whole bunch of pearls. Not sure what the idea was here. There's another little crystal kind of bead in there. So that's again repurposable, reusable for making jewelry. Um, oh, okay, a huge earring. Um, don't see. Oh, here its mate is its mate, but you can see that it's missing the white disc and maybe no let's don't see it yet so there's a pair of earrings but one is damaged no marking pierced earrings i'll put those off to the side here's another pair of earrings where they have the uh wire that goes through the uh, through the ear a uh, good pair of earrings in reasonable shape i'll just clip them together so that they stay together don't mind that rumble in the background, it's my fridge. Here's a bunch of random beads and a bunch of single earrings that'll have to just wait till we uh, reach deeper in the jar and see if we can find the matches. This is a well-worn plastic little charm or maybe it's supposed to look like a pocketbook or a purse um, put it with the kids jewelry stuff and I'm just gonna move these uh, spare beads off to the side some pearls oh they're one of those sort of orangey red fire polished rounds there's a little bag and it has some rings and some pearls and some more pearls that were removed from something they've got um, head pins through them so maybe somebody was saving the pieces to make something um, and some earring backs so there's some more a little 
utensil jewelry making stuff. The pearls just feel like plastic, nothing special. I'm gonna take another handful here because I think I'm getting into some earring matches as well. So here's a pair of earrings. I need a little cleaning, but they're uh, just plastic. Um, fear steerings look like, uh, almost look like shells. There's, so there's a pair of earrings. Oops. Um, here's a pair of pierced earrings. Pearl center. Nice textured sides. Excellent shape. So there's another pair of earrings. Here's a pair that I saw that are marked and I'm having trouble here's one of them I'm gonna off camera here squint and see if I can figure out what it says hmm I'm gonna have to get my uh, wow it's really interesting. I can't tell what it says. Let's see if we can zoom in on it here and see if we can have any idea. I really can't tell. So I'm going to have to uh, take these. Nice classic pair of earrings. Very wearable. Um, and I'm going to have to get my uh, Let's see if I got them here. Oh, I do. I actually came more prepared than I thought. So here's my uh, watchmaker's glasses with the really high intensity. And let's see if I can see what the mark says. I kept wanting to save on dome. I was looking at it before. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, so that's what it is. It's there's some letters in the front that are not very clear up here. Sorry, and this part, but this part definitely down says Von Dome down there. So um, collectible for me. So a pair of Von Dome earrings. Ooh, these are big. Hey, these kind of look like, you know, those Star Trek pins, only they're a little more embellished. These are, again, pierced earrings, not marked. Whoops. That, I just bent it. Oh, dear. So, uh, an excellent shape. Um, nah, not to my taste, though. What else have we got here? Oh, here's some triangles. If I can get them detangled from other earrings. There we go. Oh, it's got, there we are. So, another pair of pierced earrings. Lots of movement. Um, gold tone. A little bit of wear down on the corners. You know, I find that with hanging earrings, they, they when they bang against your skin, like even the skin of your neck, then they get some wear on it. Um, so we might repurpose, uh, you know, repaint them with kids and put them into a, a wind or a sun catcher. But up another pair of earrings and I'm just looking here's a pair of earrings in a package um, still got the little uh, uh, plastic ends on them they're sealed I won't unseal them so silver tone a new set of earrings uh, can be uh, re-gifted to somebody who would wear that type here's a uh, bunch of very thin bangles. So just a necklace is uh, tangled. There we go. So these are t thin, 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 thin. I don't know if I've ever run across excuse me, bangles quite this thin before. They're, they're, they're like 20 gauge wire. They're nicely twisted and they have a nice design. Very lightweight. Um, this one, I don't know if it's meant to be black like that. It's kind of beat up and misshapen. 
Um, I suppose you could put uh, some crocheting or something in them or do a, like a Christmas ornament in them. But again, they're very, very lightweight and, and thin. Um, here's some earrings that are tangled together. There we go. Here's a pair of earrings that are kind of like wings. The, this is supposed to be hanging free, but this one for some reason is... Oh, there we go. So, kind of like wings. You could repurpose these. Well, they're not really... I'm trying to see if they're doubles. If they're... Yeah, I guess they could be repurposed as wings. This way. Um, yeah, they do hang the opposite directions. So, a pair of silver tone long earrings. Don't have the wear at the bottom from brushing against a person's skin, so they're in, in very good condition. Whoops, I just lost the uh, end of it. Okay, well, there's something to repair again. Here is a bracelet. Um, nice little sort of purpley pink stones on the ends. I don't see any markings. Um, but pretty color. And oh, here's another pair of uh, excuse me. Here's another bangle. Let's go with those thin bangles. Here's another pair of uh, plastic earrings. There we go. Here's an interesting pair of plastic, almost, oh no, they're wooden. I was going to say almost rubbery feeling, but no, these are wooden. These are quite nice. Wooden earrings, black, sort of arrow shape. This one doesn't want to, this one moves very smoothly. This one doesn't want to, so maybe there's a little, a funny little bend in it or something. I could get it. It'd be nice if they both had the same sort of a, articulation. Um, just looking down in the piles here to see if I see any more pairs. Not yet. Oh yeah. Here's a uh, a necklace. Spring ring clasp. Very fine. Kind of a, a very dark red. You know, um, Merlot kind of wine colored necklace and I see one earring one matching earring so it'd be nice if the other earring shows up here's a little ring a butterfly ring with some rhinestones in it um, kind of pewter looking but I don't know if it's just pewter or if it's uh, just dirty and worn I'm going to look inside and see if I see any markings. So I don't see any markings, but there's a, a cute little ring. Actually, almost, I would say a seven. Oh, here's a couple. Uh, I thought they were earrings, but they're not. These are, I'm sure, some of these rings that hold this broken thing together. So I'll start putting those pieces together. And let's see what else I pull out. I, I think I'm going to end up with some more earrings that match. Uh-huh. Here's one I'm going to grab right away. So here's the other earring for this pair of earrings and the matching necklace. So there's a very wearable set. What I don't understand is, what, I mean, I know they might get a great deal of jewelry. Let me zoom in again here. That's better, a little better. Um, or focus. They get a lot of jewelry at my Salvation Army, but the oddest things get put on display to sell individually, I find. Something like this, which I would put on in a, in a, in a bag to sell, for $2.99 um, is just throwing in the jewelry jar. Well, I guess it's to my advantage then. 